God Spotting! Athletic Triumph! Excellent physical activity! Paula, what are you saying? Obviously, I am encouraging my team. Nothing you said sounded natural. I think you need to talk to Sam and Erica at Breathe English. Oh, maybe I will. Two hours later. Thank you very much for meeting with me. No problem, Paula. You're one of our favorite English students. So, what's the issue? Well, as you know, I just moved to an English-speaking country and I joined the sport team, but I don't know how to speak with my teammates. We can help with that. We love sports. And English. Great! Could you start with some of the basic terms? No problem. So, if you play a sport, you probably train or practice in order to get better. In British English, these sessions are called trainings. And in American English, we call them practices. At your training or practice, you will probably have a coach or trainer. This is the person who tells you what to do. If you play a team sport, you will have teammates. If you play an individual sport, you might practice against a sparring partner or someone who is also working on their game. Sports can be done on a field, a court, a rink, a track, a ring, or a slope. And you will compete against opponents in competitions. And competitions have specific names, including game, match, tournament, and race. Fields are usually outdoors, and courts are usually indoors, right? That's right. Sounds like you don't really need our help. I really do. I'm helpless at keeping track of the score. Plus, my teammates use all these weird terms when they talk about the score, so I get even more lost. Weird terms? It's five all? That means it's tied. <laughs> okay, let's break it down. When a game is tied, that means both teams have the same score. So for example, if we say seven all, that means both teams have seven. They both have seven points. They are tied. You can say a team is up or down points to say if they are winning or losing. So if you say we're up two, that means you have two more points than your opponent. Or sometimes people say we're pulling ahead to mean that your team was down, but now they're up. And game point? Game point only applies to some sports, but it means someone could win during that point. And whoever does score during game point is said to have scored the winning point. Make sense? In theory, yes. My team doesn't have a lot of experience with winning points. Anyways, my teammate told me that I was saying all the wrong things to encourage my team. So what can I say to inflate them? You mean to pump them up? Same thing, no? To pump up your team means to get them feeling good and ready to play. Some things we say to accomplish this are... Come on, Claudia! Come on, Ligers! Pizza, you got this! Yes, it's all you. Come on, it's all you. Let's go, this is our game. We got this. That was intense. If you don't shout, it's like you don't even care. What do you say it's all you? That's a way of telling someone they have the power to make a difference in that game. It's like saying, you can do it. Okay, Paola, what else did you want to know? Well, sometimes my teammates make a mistake and I don't know what to say. Maybe I could say, nice failure. Don't say that. Here are some other ideas. Great try. Good effort. Ooh, so close. Next time. Next time. That's okay. Head up. Chin up. Okay. Does all make sense? Does your team ever do anything well? Come on, Paula. 
Okay, yes, sometimes, sometimes. Well, in case they do something well someday, here's what you can say. What a catch! Oh, that was sweet! You are killing it. That was insane. Mm, it's kind of rude to call someone insane, guys. No, in sports, if something is insane, it's a good thing. Like if someone does something so athletic that it's hard to believe it happened, it's insane. I won't have to use that one with my team then. Just one more question. Sometimes my friends ask me how my play went and I don't know how to summarize. I say we won or we play bad, but I think there must be something else I could say. Indeed there is. It was a tough loss. We beat ourselves. We got the W. A well-deserved win. We left it all out on the field. Left it all out on the court. I'm guessing getting the W stands for getting the win. Very nice. I identify with leaving everything on the field. Last week, I lost my kickers and I spent 20 minutes looking for them. Um, that expression means you used all your energy during the game. Like you gave 100% full effort. You left it all on the field. All uh, right. Well, that's me too. So did we answer all your questions? Yes. Thank you both so much. What sport do you play, by the way? Quidditch. Okay, everyone say their Hogwarts house on three. One, two, three. It's me fitting. Ravenclaw. Gryffindor. Nerds. Losers. Jerks. <laughs>